What's up sports business? Adam Vogel here with the Vogel Vlog. I hope everybody's week is off to a fantastic start. Two things that I want to cover in today's vlog. First one is taking a look back on last week's blog regarding the touchpoint process. Uh, I want to dive a little bit deeper into that and how you can use it to your benefit as a sales manager or a seller. The second thing is an event that I'm extremely excited about. I know my business partner with Sports Business Solutions, Josh Belkoff, is as well. It is the Detroit Pistons Sales Hiring Showcase and the first sales hiring showcase that we're running with Sports Business Solutions. So let's talk about touch points. At any given time, our activity with a lead can really only fall under two categories. The first category is we've made contact with that lead and hopefully we're moving them through the buying process and uh, closer to making a decision. The second activity that we could be experiencing is we haven't made contact with that buyer. That's the perfect opportunity to institute a touch point process. And the touch point process can do three things for us. The first thing and the, the point that I like to emphasize the most is the touch point process really takes thinking for the seller out of the equation. It gives you a structured voicemail to leave. It gives you an email template to leave. And it prevents you from having that decision fatigue that takes your brain matter or your mental capacity away from some of the bigger decisions or the more um, involved tasks as a seller that we have, such as building rapport with a client, overcoming their objections, or going over the value proposition. So by having an adequate touch point process, you're really able to eliminate the thinking out of the equation so you can put that towards more important parts of your day as a seller. The second thing the touch point process allows us to do is let go of our leads or let go of our clients. If you've ever been in a moment or a point where you just don't know when to stop calling a lead or really give up trying, uh, the touch point process gives you a definitive end to that communication cycle. And the more clients we can get to that definitive end in the communication cycle, the more that can come back to us when they're ready to get on board or they're ready to listen to what we have to say. And the final piece of it, the third thing that the touchpoint process does is it gives the customer our contact information in a variety of different mediums. It could be a voicemail, it could be through an email, it can be through a video message or even a handwritten note. So if the customer needs to get back in touch with us, I promise you, if you follow through your 10 steps of your touchpoint process or your 12 steps of your touchpoint process, they're going to know how to get back in touch with you. All right, so I referenced this briefly in the introduction, but Sports Business Solutions and the Detroit Pistons are partnering up here for Sports Business Solutions' first ever sales hiring showcase. So myself and Josh Belkoff will be leading an event with Joe Shavi and Alan Jabero to really help them take their sales team to the next level and gear up for their first season, the Pistons, in Little Caesars Arena. This arena is gorgeous, it's state of the art, and the Pistons from a, a business side have had a ton of promotions over the last five years. So uh, we are running a one day event on Monday, May 7th, that is invite only where we'll be highlighting and showcasing some of the top talent and future superstars in our business to come out and really put their best foot forward to win a job in our industry with one of the top inside sales programs. So we'll be having icebreaker events, we'll be running sales training, we'll have sales exercises, we'll be doing live role play sessions, a tour of the facility, really a, a crash course in a day in the life of being a Detroit Pistons inside sales representative. And for the candidates coming out, they have the opportunity to, again, really put their name out there and showcase their skills to hopefully win a job within our industry. For more information on the Pistons Sales Hiring Showcase or to apply for free, just go to our website, sportsbusiness.solutions. It's currently the number one job on our job board, so you can't miss it. Myself and Josh have also shared the event on both LinkedIn 
and Twitter if you're following us there. Or you can email me directly, adam at sportsbusiness.solutions. As I mentioned before, it is invite only, but there is still time to apply and register, so be sure to do so today uh, if you're interested in uh, the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity there. That's all for this week. Uh, Thanks so much for tuning in and look forward to seeing you all next time.